All right. So welcome again to Military Guna TV. I want to say thank you very much for joining me. And as you know, um, a player update. I always do the player updates, which you get concise and uh, information about players that we know are the reggae boys playing outside of the Jamaica. So we have to keep up to date, people. I know a lot of you guys are not aware of where some of these players are playing. You, you, I know. It's a fact. Many, um, many of the reggae boy fans don't even watch the games. But it is in our nature to hype up most of the players when we don't even watch them. This is just that's 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 really hilarious for me. That's that's really hilarious. So for me, you now let me tell you about me. I up, up, I watch up to sixteen, maybe 15, 14, 15 hours of football daily, daily because I have to keep um on track with all the players all the reggae boys so that's the best way i can bring across information to you guys if i don't do that i'll be coming here and speaking based off my personal bias or what i think i can't do that so and i and i can't only come and release that to you guys if i don't even watch a match so i can't give a, a, a proper assessment of the player so i have to rewatch all the games i have to see everything that these players are doing so i can come and relay um proper information the thing about it is that um, everyone have their different perspective of football. So not because my opinion states a particular way necessarily means that it is the right one. So it is advisable for you to watch a game yourself and you can derive your own opinion. If your opinion is quite close to mine, it means that we're on the same page. If it's different, I have no problem with you. Comment in the comment section and put what you think in the comment section. If I am wrong, I have no problem with you um, coming, coming and telling me that I am wrong on this. I have no problem. We, I am here to learn. We are all here to learn. This is one of the reasons why I build this platform because I am willing to learn everything possible about football and try to get better in regards to the analytical aspect and even um, analyzing the, the stats aspect of football. But thank you very much people um so we have a, a show for you today not long not a long show just um speak about three regular boys that um played yesterday a few more played but i want to highlight these three no i previously highlighted kemar taxi lawrence he, he had a really really poor game but this time around he, he steps up yes they lost the game but he steps up and he put in a solid solid performance um recently appointed as a reggae boy recently recruited as a reggae boy he put in a solid performance a goal and assist um for us sons in the swedish league so i also will be highlighting him as well now the next the other player will actually be peter lee vassal peter lee vassal got his debut he got his debut so um i'm going to give you a bit more of that you guys can go and watch that game that game played yes last night to be frank i was watching that game um he came on like in 77 minutes so i will go a bit further into that but the first player that i'm I, I want to to highlight is blair turgot and the reason why um well not necessarily but the reason why i'm highlighting blair turgot first is because you know he's new to the team and most people don't even know him we we we, we, we have heard the name um blair turgot but we don't know the player so this is what I'm here to do. I'm here to give you an analytical update on what the player is doing. And because he played yesterday, and as I said, he put in a man of the match performance. So when players put in this performance, and you guys know me, a player put in a bad performance, I analyze it just as such. A player put in a good performance, I analyze it just as such. So Kemar Taxi Lawrence put in a really poor performance the other day, and I did analyze it just as that. No, he bounced back. With a solid, solid performance, literally one of the, one of the best um, players on the pitch this time around. Despite they lost, um, he really, really stand out. So that's the reason why uh, I'm doing this. I'm doing, doing this. Also. So you know me, people. I'm not biased. I I actually like to to split justice both ways. No, um, big up um, Arsenal is in the house. Big up also Devon Smith. Thank you for coming in. Um, let me run through the player the player stats for the game. So. Ossersons face off against um Ossersons FK face off against IK Sears and they won the game three goals to zero where the regular boy himself Blair Target um providing a goal and an assist despite um he was not named man of the match but he did put in a man of the match performance because um his first goal was what actually um what <laughs> Yeah, he um his goal was actually what um seals the deal when he scored the second goal and a 68 minute um assist by um Bellman. Relatively good goal as well. And then now in the last um on the 71st minute, he created an assist. So people um 
he's a player where you can say he, he's a goal scorer because um in his last few games but the thing about it is that he's just recently building some form of consistency because i watch a few games um and i'm saying that he is not he's not the finished product it's not the finished product you can see a bit of um rawness around his, his style of play he's hungry yes yes he's hungry but you can you can definitely see the rawness around how he plays now he actually plays across the front line um it states that he's a striker but he plays across the front line because they do have quick and pacey players so that's what i i i have seen from him um so we're going to go um so he played a total of 90 minutes he has one assist um one goal in the game he had one shot on target one off target i do think that he should try to take more shot because he's in good um goal scoring opportunities but he don't um tend to shoot quite so often so um he made three dribble attempts he all completed one of those and one big chance miss and i think he should have scored that as well um a really really good chance basically on the platter um he had 29 touches throughout this game um he is a low touch player. He is a low touch player. Um, he had um four, ten out of fourteen pass passes completed. Where you see him finishing the game with a seventy one percent pass completion. Then now he made two key pass in that same duration as well. He attempted two long balls, completing one of those. Now, um, ground duels is a very very physical player. Um, and he get entangled in a lot of physical duels. Now he had um, he, in Cotton, in 10 duels, and he, win, he won five of those, and two aerial duels where he won one of those. Um, he lost possession 10 times. As I'm saying, he, I don't really watch when defenders, um, when strikers um, lose possession a lot because they are t they are naturally going to lose possession a lot because they are going up against um, defenders. Most of the time, it is like 3v1, 2v2, and or, or, three, or 4v1. So that is okay. He committed three falls, was fouled twice. Um. He made two tackles and was dribble pass only one. But it was a solid perform performance from him. And I do think one of the one of the re th things that I see about him is that he's a bit reserved. He doesn't like, like he, do, he does not like to um get in those era. Um he don't like to get in those areas where he can hurt team. He he seems too relaxed with where he's he's he's, he's, he's playing. Um Randy Viper, big up <laughs> Arteta in. Um, Renel Cool, big up, bro. Thank you for coming in. Military Wagwan fam. Um, Blair Turgot is is limited. Yeah. Um, I can you can see the limitation to his game. You can definitely see limitation to his game. And for his age, I think he should be doing a bit more because when I'm watching him, um, I'm seeing like um, he doesn't really show up for the ball. It's like he's out of the game. It's like he's out of the game. I'm not sure. The thing about it is that because I've I've recently because he got called, I recently started watching him. Um, I've watched a few games, uh, backtrack a few games of him. But what I'm seeing, is I watch, uh, he scored a trick. I think maybe two weeks ago, about two weeks ago, he scored a trick. Um, I don't even remember. But he scored a really, really, really good goal. But one of the things is that um, he tends to get in dangerous areas, but he don't shoot often. He does not shoot often. I don't know why he looks to lay off the pass, and he's not the best passer of the ball. But he doesn't. He does not shoot um often. You know, like when you see Kemar Roof in certain areas of the pitch, or even Jamalo, these guys are gonna hit it. Um, these guys will hit it so i think that is something that he can he can work on now the play, the next play that we're going to be looking at is actually the man on his debut himself um peter lee Vassa. so people um at indy 11 peter lee Vassa came off the bench he got a few minutes i think it was like 12 minutes came off the bench got about 12 minutes and he was active yes 30 minutes he was it was really he was was active in the game um so in 11 beat um defeated sporting kansas city two um two goals to zero um what was an entertaining game um but you can see the level let's be honest people this is not the highest level of football the us is the usl is not the highest level of football it seems um let me be honest um schoolboyish I, I i'm being honest people it seems a bit schoolboyish like um you know like you're watching schoolboy football it just it, it's just so raw like it's just pure raw talent on the pitch extremely raw um it's it's, it's just it's, it's just a it's just a raw league where you have a bundle of raw players i'm um, trying to make their name um but um peter levers came off the bench um he played he played 13 minutes he had a few touches he actually um um a, a, 
really good technical player. And that's that's what what I, I, I can say. Um a fairly good technical player. Um he had 12 touches just in just 13 minutes, which means that he got involved in the game. Um accurate accurate pass for accurate pass for this game was like um 3.0 at 50 percent. Um accurate pass in the opposition of three, um, which was at 43 percent. So he relatively came on. I'm it makes no sense. Successful dribble one um at 50 percent. Um total ground deals one two at 40 percent. Um so he lost possession seven times as well. Which, which 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 I can say is quite worrying. But one of the things, it didn't look extremely sharp. It didn't look sharp. He, you, you can see that is is someone is who is actually um not playing. You can obviously see that it's someone is not playing. But the league in itself, people, um, um, Ken, um Raynell said, big up Ray, um cool said, um, Turgot lacks handling speed. Yes, and that's he, he lacks. Let's say that he lacks the technical ability. You know, one of those raw country ballers that um he can do something, but he just lacked that final um technical the technical aspect of his game. He doesn't have it. Ricardo Robinson said, um, USL is poor. Yes, it is poor. I'm watching it and I'm be honest, it's like just you know, like when I was watching schoolboy football, where the talent there's just an abundance of talent, but everyone is raw. There's no finished article in the league. And these players are very, very old players. So um, I sh we should be seeing finished articles. We should be seeing players with that high level of technical ability. We should be seeing players who really stand out. But it's just totally raw. Um, so that's it. Um, at least they won. They, they won the game, and in the eleven, um, looking quite comfortable. But it was a, 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 a passive and aggressive game. Um, let's say in the eleven had, had most of the the possession. They had most of the shots. And all those things. So, um, it was a good game. But he's an attacking midfielder. A very good technical player as well. But, as I said, looks really, really raw. And you can see that he hasn't played football in a long time. Daniel said, military, will you be at JD Stream? Yes, bro. Um, I, I, he, Yes, he, he linked me and I said, yes, of, of course. Of course, bro. You know, uh, we're the co-host. That is a must. <laughs> Even if he's, he's actually... um. Bringing on a host, I would maybe come on later on the stream, but I will be there, bro. But thank you for coming as well, Daniel. Um, so we're gonna look at the final player now, which is Kemar Taxi Lawrence. And um, let's I'm gonna be honest, I I really watched the last game that we played and before this, this game, and I, I I was not impressed. He didn't have a good game, he really didn't have a good game, but he turned things around. I have to say he turned things around and he looks really, really good. He looks really, really good in this game. I'm um, putting a, 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 a fairly good enough performance. A fairly good enough performance. Um, not well. I won't say fairly good enough, but it was a it was a solid performance. Um, from them, but they they lost the game. But in all essence, it was a, a very good performance from um Taxi um this in this game. So let me run through some of the stats and let me then we can. Um, run into the, the player, um, style of play, and, uh, and all those type of things. But look at this. The first thing you should realize is for this particular game, look how um, dark red the intense, the, 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 the radar is. You can look at that and you can tell that he did a lot of running, running in this game. We could also check out the amount of kilometers that he covered. But for this game, people, he had a very good game. I have to be honest, he had a very, very good game, this one. I was surprised that um, his ratings were actually this low. So maybe um, the, the system needs to be updated a bit. But he had a very good game. Um, he played a total of 90 minutes. Um, he had two interceptions. He encountered in, in five duels, winning four of those. Um, three ground duels, um, four ground duels, winning three. And one aerial duel, winning that one as well. He lost possession eight times. And that is not a lot. That is in a relatively good zone. And he tries to go forward. He tries to go forward. He really, really tries to go forward. And he committed zero foul. He was fouled twice. Um, he had 62 touches. People, this was one of the... I think this is the, the joint third most touches on the pitch at 62. The joint third most touch on the pitch at 62. So, he was like a release valve for the team. Whenever they get the ball, they will switch it to the left. As they picked it up, they switch it to the left to, to Taxi Lauren. So... That was encouraging for me to see based off the last game that I saw when, and I was saying that he needs to do this and he needs to work on that. But for me, that what I saw right there, the fact that they, they consistently switch it to Kemal Lawrence, it means something. 
It means that they are, they are these, these guys are looking at him and they're saying that he is the release valve. The release valve he is the player that they want to go to because he's, he's going down the line. But key thing for people, I'm going to touch on that. I'm going to touch on that small little bit here. Then I'm going to be, um, talk about it just a little bit um, in more details. Um, so he made he completed 37 out of 41 passing, finishing the game at 90% um, pass completion, which is very, very good. Which is very, very good, people. It, it is telling you that he, he, he has the joint third most touch and completing the game with the second highest pass percentile. So that you have to you have to respect that. Um, you have to respect that, people. You have to respect that. Um, joint um third most touches and then completing the with the second highest pass percentile in the game at 90 percent. Um, so people, as I said, people, the, the source is in my link. For this chat um for this website, you can go and check it for yourself to see if I'm just misquoting or I'm wrong. Go and check it out. Really advise you to do that. He also made one key passes. So he attempted zero crosses. Um, he attempted five long balls, completing four of those. Now he has a he has a he ability to, to drive the, the ball down to the left hand side to the forward in between the line. And that is something that I see do like a three or four times throughout the game. Yes, I think that's the fight the, that those long balls where he, he plays the ball to the byline. He plays the ball to the byline where the strikers would run inside and in the channel and they will um pick it up. So that's something um really, really good to see. Um zero shots on target. He attempted like two shots, one off target, and one was blocked. And then he made one dribble attempted, which was completed, where he drive through the defense line and then he got off um one of those shots. So a pretty impressive performance for me from for from Timar um Taxi Lawrence. Really impressed with that performance, I have to say. And you have to give credit where it's due. The last time, um, the last time I spoke about him, in which he played the previous game, he didn't have a good game, and I did um state that he didn't have a good game. But this time around, he turned it around and he put in a solid, solid performance. And I have to give um a recomm a commendation for that. But one of the things that I would want to see Kemar Taxi Lawrence work on was something that I realized that he did not do um too often. He didn't do it at all in the game. Was um attempt to cross the ball. He was in so much good position to cross the ball and he looked to play it um, safely. Um, I'm not sure it's because he's trying to adapt to the, the system. He's adapting to, uh, trying to adapt to the playing style. But I do think that he's playing it too safe. Get those crosses inside of the 18-yard box. Um, get, let, let problems happen inside of the 18-yard box, Kemar. I would advise you to whip the ball as hard as possible inside of the 18-yard box because anything can happen. Um, you have two good strikers. These guys are running um, on, the, on every single thing. Um, very um, hard work all as well. So get the ball to them inside of the internal box. So I would advise you maybe some early crosses inside of the box as well because I see the pass that you play down, down to the byline, which means that you have that ability to hit that ball really, really well um, down um, with the inside of your instep. So I would advise you to get the ball over to the, to the strikers inside of the internal box. You are a winger. You are a fullback. And... I think that's a part of your that's a part of your role. So I would advise you to do that. But um, congrats, a very, very good performance for Kemar Taxi Lawrence. Solid performance for Blade Turgot as well. Also, so both players literally put in man of the match performances. Then no, it's just so sad that Kemar Taxi Lawrence lost the game. So because they lost the game and he's in the defense, I think that will hit his ratings. But he did put in a performance. Um joint, joint um second, no, joint third, most touches on the pitch, and then the second highest. Um, percentile finishing that game. So let me run through some of the comments. Um, MLS is not much better. The league is well presented, but some of these players are average at best. <laughs> that's from Ricardo. And that's that's a good take. Um, cool said, Yes, man, I will join the stream also. Daniel said, Um, nice. <laughs> Taxi is a decent player, decent player. Yes, um, from what I saw last night, I was I was quite impressed. I was quite impressed with that. What I saw, remember, no, no, I I saw him previously, and he didn't put in a good performance. No, when I saw him, no, because I covered him last week when he played. Um, last week when he played the first full game, he played eighty six minutes. He didn't have a good game. He didn't get much in. He didn't get involved much in the game. You could see that he was trying, and maybe was trying too hard. But for this time around, um, it, it's quite well. Um. No, uh, <laughs> I'm here trying to learn more about these Jamaican players. Um, that's it, Daniel. I give you player updates every single day on every single Jamaican player. Every day. I give player updates every day. So you can always tune in to find out about players because I'm always giving information on every single player, how well they perform, what they did, and uh, how they contributed to their team. Um, cool said, do you think Taxi has the ability to play centre-back? 
No, he doesn't. And uh, that might sound a bit harsh, but listen, listen, let me tell you why. Um, first thing first <laughs> is I know you have um short defenders out there, but Taxi Lawrence is quite short. Taxi Lawrence is like um five foot nine. He's really, really short. So um that's one of the reasons why I said no. Also, is he loves to go forward. And yes, we know defenders love to go forward, but he loves to go forward. He's not the type of def type of person to stick to do man marking. He loves to use pace. So we'll drive, he will go to the bike, he's, he would he'll go to the line, chalk on boots, and uh, keep open space for, for the incoming pass or, or for the channel. So um I don't see him playing um centre back because of those attributes, the ability, his tendency to want to go forward all the time. Um um, positional discipline would be a big factor for him. So, and then now the, the height, the physical um, presence would be a, another factor. But um, thank you guys for coming in. Everyone, thank you guys for watching the channel. Um, as you know, I'm building a platform where you can have unbiased opinion and also an uh, analytical view on every single player. Player analysis, statistical, um, statistical analysis as well. This is how I run my program here. So we're not here for word of mouth. We're here for the stats and we're also here for what we saw with our own eyes. So I like to encourage people to watch these games. I know it's hard. It's a bit difficult to see all the players. But that's, what, that's the reason why I am here, people. So I can see all the players, watch all the players and give you guys what I think and also match it with the analytics that I have. It's not always right, but um, not what I think is not always right. So that is the reason why I use the analytics to match it. So you can't be stats because stats say you pass fifteen pass the ball fifteen times. I could have said I've seen him pass it like fourteen times, but the stats says he passed the ball fifteen times. But at the end of the day, people, um, we're building a platform here. You can also hit the subscribe button if you're new to join the military squad, and we're here to grow and uh, enjoy some football because we have great things coming, big things coming, people, and. We also would um do a few things, you know, and you guys will see, you guys will see. Just subscribe, you guys will see. So before we go, people, smash the like button. Remember now that's the best way you can show me um support because it's free. Um, it's free. You don't have to do anything. The, the like button is literally free, it's just a thumb. So that's smash that like button. Big up, people. Thank you uh, very much for.